organizations across every sector are waking up to the transformative power of data and analytics. Health and human services is one sector that can truly benefit from adopting this power, as data and analytics solutions can not only improve service delivery, but also transform the lives of people in their care. EY has collaborated with Imperial College London's Institute of Global Health Innovation to explore how five health and human services providers each used groundbreaking data and analytics solutions. Their report profiled five compelling case studies from around the world. Headquartered in the state of Washington, Providence is a non-profit healthcare provider and one of the largest health systems in the USA. The organization wanted to better understand the patient's needs so it could improve success and quality of service provision and attract new customers while minimizing the cost of their services. But they recognized their current systems couldn't record their consumer's experience and keep pace with changing consumer expectation. Consumers in our markets are really expecting their healthcare to keep pace with the rest of their lives from a convenience, access, availability standpoint. So it's really about meeting consumer expectations and health systems have really struggled with that historically. Providence designed a platform called DexCare, a data-driven access optimization platform that intelligently orchestrates patient demand with health system capacity across all modes of care, virtual, at home, and in person. DexCare enables consumers to be able to access the offerings of a given health system in a much more consumer-friendly way, ensuring that we were matching what folks were looking for to the care that we could actually provide to them. The success of DexCare has been remarkable, helping Providence improve the quality of their care and optimize their capacity and service delivery. At no point was this effect more pronounced than during the coronavirus pandemic. In the midst of COVID, DexCare enabled Providence to scale up its telehealth resources almost overnight. So within less than a week, we went from approximately 50 to over 1,500 direct-to-consumer telehealth visits per day. Each case study shows how health and human services organizations are improving patient outcomes around the world today. The pioneering work of these early adopters will help shape the long-term future of the sector and its use of data and analytics. At EY, the highly integrated services and solutions make us well positioned to help organisations embark upon this journey and help shape the future of health and social care for the better. <laughs>